son of gods. Okay, so welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys how I recover files that I have deleted on accident or I have mistakenly formatted off my drive or my memory card or SSD or whatever. With this software, basically, uh, the software is called Recover It. So essentially, the upsell is that as long as the device is still in the condition that it was after you lost the files, for example, this is my memory card from my phone. And if I mistakenly formatted it, for example, or I deleted some files off of it that were very important, as long as I have not overwritten the drive with a bunch of new files, as long as it's still in that state, I can actually still get them back. And I am going to show you how that works in a moment. Uh, so let's just first steps. Obviously, I need an adapter so I can plug this directly into my computer because my computer is where the software is. So let's put that in. OK, so I'm going to be alternating between my face and my computer screen so that you can be getting a sense of what I'm trying to really achieve here. Yes, so the memory card from my phone that I basically just showed you guys a moment ago before I plugged it in has my very precious Justin Bieber album. It has a few photos from like product shoots and I think two videos from video shoots as well. So I wanted a little bit of everything so that you could get a sense of what you could recover with this device essentially. So as you can see, everything is right here on the home directory of the card. So I'm going to select all of this, Control A, and I am going to move to trash. Then I'm going to come to my trash and I'm going to empty trash. You heard that sound, you saw it happen. The files are completely gone, but the memory card is still in the exact state that it was when I lost the files. So I open up my recovery software, which is here right now. Um, let's actually, let's remove this close cool and then let's put it back it's supposed to be empty now as you can see it's completely empty you see that right now so we're going to select the card from my phone and we're going to click start now this is going to take a while because it's going to run through I don't know I don't know what it runs through exactly I'm not really good with this technical stuff but it's going to take a while and then it's going to run through the files and then it's going to find all the files essentially pretty much so i am going to fast forward in time to when you know the video has reached oh okay it's already finding it actually because there's not a lot of files the first time that i tried this I had like gigabytes and gigabytes and hundreds of files so it took a while but i guess this is not going to take time because it's actually reading pretty fast uh yeah, so as you can see here, it's actually found almost everything. The entire album is here already. Um, I can see the photos. I can see two videos. Okay, I can see one video. The second video is still loading up, but essentially it has basically found everything pretty much, but I'm going to allow it run through the steps before I do anything here, essentially. Now, there's a little bit of a catch, yeah? The thing about this software is the free version of the software is only going to allow you to recover files up to 100 megabytes, which I guess is not bad. But if you have like more, like a higher quantity of stuff or stuff in higher sizes, like video files and stuff from like your vacation or like your child's naming ceremony or stuff like that, that you lost, you're going to need to pay for a license and the licenses are not very cheap. So I'm going to show you the page where that is right now cool so there is the recover professional for 79.94 there is the ultimate for 99.94 and all the options and stuff that you can do with them are basically listed on the screen here uh mostly are these are like one year subscription plans essentially and of course there's the option for ultimate with like less than 500 computers i don't know why anybody would need that one but i suppose you could actually run a business with this i mean you could get like this $400 license thing and like have a bunch of computers and run a business where you're helping people recover their files. I didn't come up with that myself. Somebody actually mentioned it to me today. Five, four, three, two, one. All done. Okay, so right now it is done and it says rebuilding the file pads. Please wait patiently. Uh, I suppose that is necessary to make sure that 
the files are in good working order and you know they're not broken and you don't have photos that are acting weird so we're just gonna do a quick test and see if yes my photo is right here it's in high quality there is nothing wrong with the quality of the file i guess it just sends me a notification that it's done recovered 379 files i didn't have that much essentially once it's done you could literally select or select like you could select individual files or you could select every single thing and you just click recover so let's let's say this is the only file i want to recover for example i just click recover so this is where it catches it's asking me to buy a license to enjoy all benefits of the registered version so I could decide to run with the trial version or I could buy a pro license or an ultimate license and then I can use the software properly. But basically this is how I recover files or how you would recover files on like your drives, SSDs, I don't know, flash drives, memory cards, SD cards for your camera, stuff like that. If you mistakenly lost them, deleted them, formatted them, whatever the case, please do not touch the drive do not try to add more files onto it don't do none of that just take it in the state that it is and use recovery and you can get your files back that is basically all you have to do so i am going to have links to the software in the description below this software is available for windows and mac so yeah you can literally just follow the link to download thank you so much for watching i hope this was very helpful for somebody don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on another video that was shot by Kagan. Peace.